Hello guys, Night Spectre here, bringing you another League of Legends cast for one minute into the game, and as always, I'm sorry, but nothing has happened yet. So let's go over the teams quickly, shall we? As I am rearranging all of these goodnesses. Hmm, which makes it a lot interesting to see what we have, actually. Hmm, don't even know what... Yeah, let's do this. So, red team, everybody, as we're going straight for blue team. So, blue team it will be. We have a, a Lee Sin jungler. And the dynamic camera I will turn off. Lee Sin in the jungle. A Zed who will actually go on top, I presume. So, it's been a while since I've casted the top set. But it will be interesting nevertheless. Actually, Ezreal being very ballsy here. Going in all by himself against a, a jungle stuck filled with enemy players, so he needs to be very careful. I know he's Ezreal, but if that fiddle just flash over the wall and fears you, you are dead. Instead, he actually leveled Darkwind, so he should be fine, to be honest. Doing some damage onto the blue golem, though, almost getting the kill, but is smite away by Jarvan. Safe to say, he should be able to knock him up, but he's too low, apparently, and is not going to do anything to begin with, regardless. So yeah, you could see that it has been an LCS night tonight because I've been casting nothing but Blitzcrank plays. I don't know whether or not I will upload them all, but maybe I will most certainly upload this one. This one is promising. So bottom lane will be an Ezreal and a Blitzcrank. For red team, it will be a Vayne and a Fiddlesticks. Jarvan actually going for a counter jungle in the blue team's jungle, but he is standing on top of a ward, so Lee Sin is coming. Of course, as you could have seen, Lee Sin already counter jungled Jarvan, so he is trying to rush it out, but it won't work. The entirety of red team is approaching, so he is going to knock- Oh my god, Kazix! That's the first blood, and it went fast. That's the power of Taste of Fear, of course. Even though he doesn't have the ability, he leveled his leap. However, Kazix now is going to die to the Lee Sin. So it's a one for one. Both the junglers taking the kill, but it's not over yet. Lee Sin is going to get hammered upon by Caitlyn. Will safeguard towards the Blitzcrank. The Darkwind doing some damage, but Jarvan a little bit too late there with the standard Dragon Strike combination. However, I couldn't blame him. It was probably on cooldown. But a lot of stuff happened for now. Lee Sin, thank god for him, did not give away the uh, red buff and blue buff. But it's apparently not over yet, he can't smite it, but he was a little bit too late. He will actually go in for the revenge kill, he can't do this. If he uses resonating strike, he will die. Instead they're going to flash on, on towards the Ezreal, and he will die. That's a kill for the Bane, Jesus. A lot of stuff happening in this game. Not a lot of farm though, which I like actually, farming is boring. Look, let's look at some farm. I'm rock solid at farming. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. So, 1-2 to two for red team, which is quite amazing, to say the very least, considering that Jarvan was standing on top of a ward. Lee Sin already countered his red, so he was a level ahead. But through great play from red team's bottom lane and middle lane, they were able to pull through. The damage of Kha'Zix, his taste their fear, was enormous, even though I think he actually leveled Void Spikes now that I think about it. We will never know, unless of course you can always look back. I won't, but you can. You can put it in the comments below and tell me. I'm not going to look at it at post, I promise. <laughs> Jarvan going in for a gank. Will he predict a flash? He will not, so I think this will be a flash away regardless. Thank god he did not predict the flash, or else he would have missed his standard to begin with. Now it's going to be Lee Sin going in for a gank. He is going to miss the... Well, the thing that comes before the resonating strike, so I'll just call it his Q. Sonic Wave. Thank you, Brain. You're a little bit too late, though. Java now going to show his face on the middle. We'll just farm a D big Wraith and then a small Wraith, because it's all that was left. One more auto-attack vein. One more. Yeah, that's what we like to see. Oh my god, Kha'Zix, you make her disappear faster than I can cast, to be honest. But she's still alive for now, and it would have been... Oh no, Java! Boom! Martial Cadence on your face! And that will be the second kill for Jarvan in the game. Great play indeed. He only has 8 minion kills. But he gets the kills through champions. Through cutting the wheat. It's actually the second time he got the kill onto Zyra there. So Jarvan making his presence known throughout the lane. Though Lee Sin hasn't been slacking as well. Both these junglers have been providing us with a lot of action early on in the game. Darkwind going to farm a little bit. Fiddle with some money. 
To be honest, Phil needs a little bit of money if you want to be a hardcore support Phil to do damage with your ult, killing them. Of course, early on in the game, just the base stats of your spells should be able to do enough damage. We shall see. Bottom lane is still level 4, however the top lanes and the middle lanes will about to level up. Will it mean death? I don't know, it might for Malphite, he's relatively low on mana, and guess who's level 6, it is Zed, but instead the dynamic camera says no Night Spectre, come here, watch this, and this is the last time I'll listen to you dynamic camera. So yeah, we missed the action on top, but Malphite is still alive. Look, he's fine. He's relatively safe. He even has his uh, granite shield back up and ready for deployment. However, he still is low on the mana part of life, so it will be hard for him to do anything regardless. Zed doesn't have ignite though, so he should be relatively fine. He's going to tank up a lot of minions though. Could be dangerous. Could be dangerous. Could be dangerous. And he had to use flash. I warned you, mate. I warned you. Anyway, so no kills as of yet. The dynamic camera was right in that regard. However, it is so confusing to see. I'm going to turn it up now because you never know when Zed is going in for the Malphite. But I can't actually. Let's go to the middle instead. Screw you, dynamic camera. I got this. Do you really, Night Spectre? Do you really? Then why is he dead? And why is he dead? He's not dead. The sonic wave missed. No. Lee Sin going to for the chase. Will he be? No, he will not. So let's go back in time. 15 seconds to watch how Blitzcrank pulled in a fiddlesticks. And that is the quickest death in the history of League of Legends, trust me. Vayne actually going to have to use barrier there, great timing on the barrier nevertheless, but almost died to the auto attack. Ezreal going for a deep chase though, is he going in too deep? He might be, but it's not enough. And Vayne can't get too close to Ezreal because his mystic shot vastly outranges her auto attack. So. No problems there, Ezreal should be fine, walking straight over and Jen continues farming. There's no one approaching for now, so he should really be fine. Just lost it the last few minions and then he'll disappear. Listen with the perfect timing on blue, places down another ward. Red team is approaching, so he really needs to hurry. He does have smite, probably, yes he does, so he will take it. But instead he's going to get knocked up. He's going to safeguard through the Blitzcrank though, so he will be fine. And then the dynamic camera thought, hey, let's go and check out how the granite shield gets destroyed, shall we? With Fiddle flashing in, Will Kha'Zix gets one, won't get a second though because he is focusing Desire instead of the Lee Sin. Does he care? Probably not. Now he's going for Lee Sin though. Which is weird, his voice spike should have been off cooldown. Well, relatively soon, and they were, now that I look at it, it, it would have been a kill. Isn't that right, Dynamic Camera? Leave me alone, I'm trying to troll you. Oh, screw you, Dynamic Camera. Screw you. Malphite going in with the unstoppable force. Zed trying to return the favor, and then he goes into his Shadow Clone and walks away. Living Shadow, Shadow Clone, it's all the same. Right here, right now, it's 3 to 5. Red team with a small gold lead of about 1,300 gold, mostly onto the Kha'Zix. Let's check out his gold for now. He has 3,200 gold. That's 1,000 gold more than Zyra, and it shows. He is actually going to rush a Brutalizer now that I think about it, which is actually a fine decision. It will make it so that he will do true damage onto you early on in the game. It will be more than enough armor penetration, I believe. It might not be the case. Zyra did went for the Chalice of Harmony instead of the, well, you could have gone for the Seeker's Arm Guard, for example, that would have reduced the damage. Instead, she wanted more magic resistance and mana regeneration. Was it the best of choices? I don't know, we'll see. Will Kha'Zix be able to feed more? If she's able to land her Grasping Roots, she should be fine. She can also use Strangle Thorns for Disengage, so, relatively speaking, she should be fine. Kha'Zix, which did he evolve first? I think he evolved his Q first, which will increase his damage greatly. But he won't have the Voldesoid Assault that we saw in the in the LCS, I believe. Or was it the OGN? Uh, so many games, so confusing to follow. But there was a Kha'Zix that ev evolved his Void Assault first, so that he had, to, of course, the reduced damage that you'll get, and another invisibility. Vizcrank getting feared though, he wanted to go in on to the fiddle, but it didn't work. Vayne going in with the final hour, however, she needs to be very careful for the true shot barrage. Won't matter, Blitzcrank is just taking the kill. 
Jarvan is approaching though. Will he be able to land the standard fiddle with the teleportation skill of D? I was gonna call it Darkwin, but it's the Crowstorm. Nevertheless, a kill again for Jarvan. At the same time, Leeson and Zed were able to demolish the Malphite on top. And they'll probably get a tower out of it. So, in a way, blue team with the grandeur play, if like the French would say. They would never say it like that. <laughs> so a tower destroyed nevertheless. First tower in the game even. And Lee Sin wants more apparently. There is no red buff Lee Sin. So he's going for the golems instead. So Kazix with 82 minion kills. Zyra with 45. Well it will be 90. Let's, 50 let's say. So that's a huge lead for Kazix. So I can't really blame Zyra. She's at the very least playing it safe for now. Not trying to give any more kills to Kazix. But I believe that Lee Sin should actually try and help her. Lee Sin is actually fairly good to get a Kha'Zix. Okay, he can still leap. Great. But if you use Tempest, he shouldn't be able to use Vordisol to run away. Never mind. The Ignite won't be enough. Health Potion has been used. It will be enough. The level advantage of Kha'Zix was just way too much. And that's a very quick kill on the van. A very quick kill. Blitzcrank doing a lot of damage there. Even though he has zero ability power. Well, he's a support, so why should he? Zed now going into the middle lane. He wants to go all out. Hadouken on the face of the Kha'Zix. He does a short leap, but that's a nice living shadow usage there. It gets blocked off by the Lee Sin, but Kha'Zix was still able to just walk away. Oh, you, you done damage onto me. Cool. So, yeah, Kha'Zix is really gonna be strong. He is now sitting on a thousand at 200 gold. He's going for the Boots of Lucidity there, so he really wants to cast as many Taste Their Fears as possible. Oh, Fiddle, he at least placed a pink ward down, but will he be able to live long enough? He even has level in Drain there. Vayne now going to stun the Lee Sin. Very great play indeed with the Condemn. However, Blue Team is approaching. She gets kicked. She gets knocked back when it was a tumble, actually. But Blitzcrank again with the kill. That's his third one in the game, isn't it? Yes, it is. His third one on Vayne, even. Kha'Zix wants to go in hard, though. He has a blue buff. He is taking a lot of damage. Ooh, Resonating Strike is going to follow up. That's a shutdown. Ooh, very nice ultimate by both the Fiddle and the Jarvan. And he will have the double kill. Will he get the triple? Will he do the blindness? They actually have Ward Vision, but Lee Sin just wants to safeguard. Instead, he's waiting for his ally, the Senor Zyra, to try and get the kill onto Fiddle. They will. Resonating Strike can't... It will follow up from max range onto the Fiddle. I thought the fear would have been enough, but instead it wasn't the case. Now he wants to go in onto the Javan. Zyra with the Grasping Roots will miss them. And Vayne is approaching, so Blue Team backs away. Great play by Lee Sin, however. He was juking out the Red Team for long enough for Zyra to approach, even landing the Sonic Wave. In the end, getting the kill there. Actually, now that you mention it, there was a pink ward in that brush. They could have destroyed the ward that Lee Sin wanted to safeguard towards and then kill him. They didn't though, they didn't want to waste the m an auto attack onto a ward, giving Lee Sin maybe some leisure way to escape. I don't know. Kha'Zix, ooh, lands a void spike, so this Zed is slowed. Instead, Zed is going to try and turn it around, but he is taking a lot of damage. Keep in mind that Kha'Zix can turn himself invisible with the Void Assault, but it might not be enough. The Shuriken misses though! The Ignite doesn't. And now Malphite is approaching, he has unstoppable force, will he be able to land it though? Or will Zed be able to escape? No escape. No escape. A kill is a kill. So we're 10-10 in this game. There's only like a 400 gold differentiation, but I think the Javan might die unless he has the golden ages. Instead we're going to watch Vayne chasing down a plant, placing a pink ward. Vayne you rich motherbucker. Will you be able to survive the Lucinda? Will you be able to dodge? Yes, indeed. A very nice tumble. The Sonic Wave, however, lands. And that will be a rampage by Lucinda. Using the Dragon Rage and following it up with a Resonating Strike. It's one of the most beautiful things you can see in this game. And it's awesome. So now we have Ezreal going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Fiddle. He gets terrified, though. And it's a scary Fiddle. However, True Shot Barrage is going to miss. Will he be able to dodge? A de grab? Nope, not necessary. For there is a Blitzcrank. However, there is a Blind Monk as well. He is not going to land to Sonic Wave. A very nice use there of the uh, Cataclysm. But it won't be enough. Or will it? Nope, double kill for Ezreal. And he has a lot of HP. Kha'Zix is arriving, though. Will he be able to get the kill? They know where he is because he's so visible as can be. And he's not going to get the kill. He will get the kill. And he flashes away. Shut down onto the Lee Sin. 500 gold going straight into his pockets. He will be even more scary. 
Judging from his itemization, he is apparently going to rush the wit's end. If I'm correct. Am I correct? I don't recall. The, the bow that gives you armor penetration percentage. I'm calling it with sand, though it might be the wrong item. Never mind! Vayne gets caught. Die, Vayne. Goodbye, Vayne. So, Blitzcrank has been landing all of his hooks, really, so you must commemorate him for uh, awesome play. Malphite approaching, slowing down the Zed. Zed was able to dodge that slow, though, with the death mark, so for that great play, with his lost ounce of energy, he was actually able to get away. Malphite giving up the chase. Huh. Well, he didn't get the speed steroid from using the seismic shard because Zed dodged it, so great play by Zed! Bravo! If you can hear that clapping. So we're now 14 to 12, even though Red Team was in the lead for a short period of time, or were they? I thought they were. Well, it was an even game nevertheless, still. A 2000 gold lead for Blue Team. Yes, Red Team was in the lead because Jarvan was playing awesomely. They even got the dragon and all that good stuff. Dragon should be about to spawn, now that I talk about it. So it will be interesting to see what, what kind of fight will erupt from this. It should be an awesome fight, nevertheless. Blitzcrank even placing down a vision ward to prevent Red Team from having vision. Fiddle has a vision ward as well, though. Kazix going hard onto the Zyra. She gets protected, safeguarded by the Lee Sin. Kazix now just walking right, left to right. Blitzcrank is there. Jarvan is there. What are they going to do? Jarvan is going to try and use the red bow. Oh no, that's a Malphite you pulled in there, mate. That's not what you want. And this is a goodbye for Argentina. Goodbye for Blitzcrank. Fiddle, not getting anyone with his cross storm. Single tier. But at the very least, I think Dragon should be about to spawn instead Red Team. Before it spawns, are going in onto the Ezreal who tries to juke it out, but it's not working. So here we go. Ezreal trying to run away from Fiddle, Jarvan and Vayne. Good luck with the Vayne escape there, mate. Gets terrified quite long range, and he will even get Cataclysm upon, and even Kazix getting an assist there. And is he level 11? Yes, he is, so his leap is back off cooldown. So Zyra needs to be very careful. Zyra's gonna get caught here. She didn't even saw it coming. And whoop, leapt away. You can't even use your passive. Dragon has now finally spawned. However, Lee Sin is too close by, so Jarvan doesn't want to go in yet. So instead, they decide, let's go for mid lot. Sire was that mate, we could take mid. And then Lee Sin is like, they're taking mid, I must stop them. Thought he was going for Dragon first because he might have got a small cheeky chance. Blitzcrank, be careful, even though if you could have landed that grab, it still would have been relatively dangerous. His leap was back off cooldown, mate. Lee Sin going to continue on to the chase onto Jarvan, though, needs to be careful. Going to safeguard towards the ward. Zed was there as well, however, Malphite was there also as well, which is a double as well. Oh, apparently Jarvan wants to go in, of course, Unstoppable Force is off cooldown for Malphite. If he's able to land it onto Zed, he might have died. But instead, it's just going to be a disengage by both Red Team and Blue Team. Nothing has happened for now. For now. So, now it's Red Team in the lead. There's no telling who will be winning this game. Zyra, for now, has been most likely shut down, so she will need to make it so that she can carry her team a little bit harder than she is doing right now. For now, she is being carried by Lee Sin. However, as everyone knows, Lee Sin falls off in the end. So you won't be able to count on him forever. Then again, by that time, I'm pretty sure Zyra would be able to do enough damage and crowd control and all that good stuff. Oh, Kazakhs knows. He can see it. They're not in the brush. The entirety of Red Team is coming. Lee Sin is getting caught. He can't escape. He's terrified. And he will die immediately. Strangletor is rising, though. Doing a lot of damage. The plants, of course, getting increased attack damage if they're standing on top of Strangletorn, which you don't tend to see that often. Now Ezreal going in, slowing down the Jarvan with the active of the Blade of the Ruined King. Zed going in too far. He did his ultimate, but then straightly got caught by the Jarvan. However, Jarvan dying as well to the Ezreal damage. And Zyra. Let's, let's give it to her. Zyra did some damage as well. So she's doing well. Kazix now teleporting away, back to base. And this will be the middle tower lost for blue team. Who would have guessed, actually? Who would have guessed? I didn't. So now it's blue team. In the lead with 300 gold. So you can't really call it a lead. But at least they got a very important turret. Ah, that's the reason why Blue Team is still very much in this game. They have destroyed every outer turret from Red Team. Red Team, of course, with a champion kill lead and a minion kill lead and a dragon lead will make it out even a little bit. 
However, keep in mind, a tower can get destroyed quite easily, relatively speaking, of course. So then, Kha'Zix, get yourself a kill, mate. Zyra dying immediately there, trying to use her passive, will miss. But Dazriel doing amazing damage onto the Kha'Zix. So Vayne trying to return the favor, and it will apply. Vayne now getting the kill. Dragon will probably be for Red Team. It's a two for one, though, and Lee Sin is a master at stealing dragons. However, he needs a ward, and he actually misplaced it there, and I don't believe he gets another one. So, poor Lee Sin won't be able to steal. Oh, he might! No, he won't, and he already used safeguard, so there is literally no escape. Terrify is quite a terrifying feat, is it not? As he just couldn't get away anymore. He didn't. He did have flash, so props to Fiddle. His terrify is awesome, which is one of the highest CCs in the game. Three seconds of you just waltzing around. Of course, because it's a terrify. Now, oh, but guess what? Deathmark onto Malphite. There is no escape, mate. There is an escape. He survived. <laughs> what? I thought there would still be a shuriken shortly after, but it's not the case. Oh my god, you lucky stone. And now the Kha'Zix know that the Zed already used his strongest abilities. He will go for the quick kill. A nice snipe with the Void Spike, though. Plants, give me blue buff. Thank you, plants. You're welcome, but don't give the blue to the Kha'Zix. I won't, plants. I won't. Kha'Zix now going top. He really wants to push hard. They need to. They're behind on turrets, so what can they do? Destroy turrets, because they're ahead in this game. The last fights were just too awesome. So they will have El Muchos Goldos, por favor. They got the bottom turret, they got the top turret, and you know what? Maybe they can go for a middle. They already damaged it hard enough. It's time for Red Team to go for middle. The Sin getting caught? Question mark. I'm not too certain. Blitzcrank is there and Zyra, so instead, that was not a knockup. That was not a knockup, which surprised me because it was dead on, wasn't it? Listen once more, you're too low, mate, and there's a vein, and there's everything. The entirety of Red Team, except for Kha'Zix, who is of course the major carry in this game for now, is not in the middle. So Kha'Zix instead going on for the Azrael. I know a fight is going on in the middle, but I want to see a very quick kill first by Kha'Zix. Is he succeeding though? He is flashing away, but he will get the kill. So now we're going to the middle. You know what? We're going back 15 seconds. We want it all. So here we have Deleeson getting caught by the Vayne using a final hour to try and get as many kills as possible, but not succeeding. Instead gets grabbed and knocked up and killed. Nope, it's Zyra getting killed. Vayne running away gets killed by the Blitzcrank though. And it's Malphite that gets the two double kills, which is just not the case. He gets a double kill or two kills. One of the both, Night Spectre. No. It's one or the other, not one or both. Jesus, what's wrong with me? In fact, of double kills. Fiddle! Haha! <laughs> so yeah, Fiddle gets a kill. Great play, little guy, but you will die to the death mark. However, same will go for the death mark. Caster Z is going down through the standard of Malphite. Wait, what? <laughs> Job in the fourth. Oh, Jesus. It's late, I know, but it's not that late, is it? It might be, actually. Locket of the Ancelari has now been purchased by Fiddlesticks. And now I'll finally be able to call it Lost Whisper. It, of course it's the Lost Whisper. What did I call it? Wits End, right? I always confuse those names for no reason. Nevertheless, Wits End has been, had been purchased a long time ago by Kha'Zix. He now has a Mana Mune, which of course with the latest patch takes quite some time to refill in order to get the Mura Mana, which is an awesome item. But Kha'Zix already has it. He also has a BF Sword, which is great. He's going to turn that into a bloodthirster relatively soon actually eh, he still needs about 500 gold so it will take a short while but uh, the way that he's farming now he should have it in roughly uh, let's say three minutes let's say at 72 minutes 27 minutes he'll have it then Javan, he has a warmox arm it's been a while since i've seen one of those most likely the junglers actually go for the um, Spirit of the Elder Golem, because it gives you tenacity. Jarvan, for now, still has no tenacity. Ezreal almost getting caught by Kha'Zix, but it's actually Kha'Zix getting caught by Red Team. Or is it? He gets Dragon Raged away, but he turned himself invisible. Zed, however, going in onto him, but he leaps away to safety, because he got the assist. What a bastard! Ezreal gets the kill, but he gets unstoppable forced onto his face. And now it's the end of the Malphite. No, it's not! Fiddle saves him with the Terrify, but only for a short period of time. He dies shortly after. And now the sole survivor of the blue team is the old Blitzcrank, who is roughly two years old.
No, he's he's like five or something. I don't know. Kazix with the ace. Taste their fear. And he evolves. So he's now even more terrifying. He has the wings. He has the claws. He has whatever the third thing was he leveled. I don't know. Lately, Kazix don't bother with leveling Void Spikes after the nerf, so I don't believe he took it. But it's still great to have for the arc fire. It makes it so that more people can get hit by it. Lenningham, a improved Void Assault is also pretty nice to have. Can I see it? No, I can't see which one he leveled. Oh well. If you can, then sorry I missed out, but I have casting to do. And dang it, because of all those kills Kazix had, he had the Bloodthirster two minutes earlier than I anticipated. Let's say one minute earlier than I anticipated. Great play by Kazix, nevertheless. He's 11 4 and 9. And he has a Bloodthirster, a Lost Whisper, and a Brutalizer. So that's a lot of penetration and a lot of damage. Given he also has the Monomine, but it will take some time for it to charge. So it's not all that decent of an item yet. It will be though. So, a lot of pinks going down. Don't wake me up before you go, go. Vayne wants to go in though. Was able to stun the Zed, but he was just able to use his Living Shadow to get away. Kazakh's doing the same though, he is really terrified of that Blitzcrank. Blitzcrank however is cut way out of position and he's not that tanky, he's a support Blitzcrank. He will die immediately. Pink Ward for the Pink Ward. And the Pink Ward for this Ward, they can't see it? Well it's always the same with those banana shamed bushes, nope they can't see it. Yeah, You're laughing on top of a Ward mate, maybe he knows. Could be the case, he might be able to have seen it drop and then think, oh, gotta destroy it. Nah, I got time, we have a vision ward, and then it suddenly disappears. Fiddle getting caught by the Lee Sin, or is it Lee Sin getting caught by the Fiddle? You decide, I ain't calling nothing. Very nice Dragon Rage there, but the unstoppable force is unstoppable, mate. Kazix with the first kill, Kazix with the second kill, Kazix with the, qu with the third kill. Will he get the quadra kill? He's trying though, and he gets the quadra kill! And I think it's an unofficial panther at that, so... Thumbs up, mate! Of course, Blitzcrank is already back alive. But I think he got the kill. Pretty sure he got the kill. So, yeah! If you have a fat Kha'Zix in your team, enjoy! Enjoy the leaps! Boom! I'm Kha'Zix! Who are you? I'm Blitzcrank. Alright! Goodbye! So, the first name of the tower of the game goes to a red team. They have now a 10,000 gold lead, which is quite a lot, considering only about 10 minutes ago this game was quite even. And now, boom! 10k gold. Just like it was nothing. They won the lottery or something. Nope. They won kills. And objectives for that. They have 5 turrets now. They are about to go for Baron. Of course, they first should be buying items with the money they acquired and then afterwards go straight to Baron. Blue team, however, are pinging Baron. They know they have now a very small window to try and go for it. However, Fiddle is still there. He was spotted, though. He needs to keep running. He's too low. Well, if Red Blue team is going to waste their time on Fiddle, then he might be able to get away. He's going for the Terrify, trying to waste as much time as possible. And to be honest, he, he lasted long. Now pings are going down at Baron, but the entirety of Red Team, the big damage dealers of Red Team, are now approaching. And it's too dangerous. You have a Javan, he's good at stealing Red. He gets strangled torn though and then pulled into Baron, so never mind, I'm already here mates, I wanted to be there. But he is going down fast. He went in all by himself. This is what Blue Team needs to get back into this game. However, Unstoppable Force straight into their faces. Kazakh straight into their faces as well. Vayne from afar, going to try and get some kills. Will get the Zed, will not get the Blitzcrank because that's a uh, property of the Malphite there. What? 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 Are you kidding me? The passive of... So Zyra's passive, in combination with great plays from Ezreal, just annihilated the entirety of Red Team, let's say. Kazakh leapt in at the wrong time, straight into the shot of the... <laughs> oh my. Well, great play by Blue Team, I must say. They prevented Red Team from taking Baron when they were going to. Unlucky for them, they weren't able to get it, but... Jesus Christ, that fight. Jarvan, of course, dying in the beginning straightforward was a little bit bad for him, but he couldn't help it. He he needed to stop them from taking Baron, and I thought that he would have been tanky enough. 
He did buy himself the Spirit of the Elder Lizard, though. Giving him some extra damage, give or take, yes, but come on, mate. You need the Spirit of the Elder at uh, the Ancient Golem. You need it. It gives you tenacity. This team has a lot of crowd control you're fighting. They have a Blitzcrank, they have a Zyra, and they have a Fiddle, who now dies. It's Red Team that gets a Fiddle, but you know what I mean. He gets silenced! Poor guy! It sucks to be Fiddle, I know, but still. He's going to be able to escape? It's just a vein! Well, not anymore, of course. Kazix is arriving, Malphite is arriving, Jarvan is in the middle, gets them all within the Cataclysm, they can't escape! Unstoppable force on their faces, and now it's cleanup squad Vane that's going to kill them all, or is it? Apparently it's Kazix that's going to clean them up. Everyone for Kazix, triple kill for Kazix. Azrael wasn't there. Azrael, of course, playing great though this game, you can't blame him for not being there. That's a long leap. However, that's a decent arcane shift as well. Red team not interested in taking Baron though, they think they can end this game, they can try. Azrael has already used Arcane Shift but it doesn't matter, he used the active of the Blade of the Rune King to increase his movement speed and now it's Kazix that actually is in a heap of trouble, however guess what, Vayne has arrived. Does he have True Shot Barrage? He does not, he dodges away from the knockup, from the uh, standard Dragon Strike ability there. But it is the Nexus that's lying naked. We have Blitzcrank and Azrael though. The entirety of Red Team pretty low, but it's a surrender nevertheless. I wanted to have a double explosion, mate. Come on, lads. Give me a double explosion next time. Nevertheless, GG Red Team. And to you guys, I hope you enjoyed. It was an awesome game. And I will see you next time. Whatever it is I'll do. Whenever it is I'll do it. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.